is just going to be a quick video response to Enigmius's Builder's Guide to Feed the Beast series, just showing off my facility that I've built after seeing his setups. So it's one chunk hollowed out all the way down to bedrock, clearly. There's a bedrock mining facility goes out that way. Um, storage and power, I'm going to put my sorting system, I think, down here once I finally decide to get that up and running. And then let's head up two levels up. We've got tanks. The one on the right obviously contains lava, and back behind it there is a um, ender chest and your standard magma crucible setup to produce lava from netherrack. And this just has aqueous accumulators to produce large amounts of water if I need that. Um, everything I power with electrical engines because I have plenty of IC2 power spare. Um, heading up a little bit further, we come to the ground level. And of course this is all reinforced stone, so creepers won't be a problem, and reinforced glass likewise. Um, that way, if a creeper does blow up at ground level, the most it'll get is a layer of glowstone, which is easily replaceable. Um, as we head a little bit further up, you can see the power transfer line goes down, and we will come up to the um, next level that has stuff on it, which is buildcraft power generation. If I need large amounts of Minecraft jewels, I've got redstone energy cells powered by tons of electrical engines. Um, so they stay get full and stay full pretty quickly. I've got some forestry automated wheat farms. All the doors are obsidian plates, so monsters can't get to them. Um, automated wheat farms and auto crafting tables to produce bread. Over around this side, I have an automated oak tree farm so that I have plenty of oak wood. Um, and likewise, much more sugar cane than I'm ever likely to need. So that takes care of that stuff. And then going back inside. Come up here, we've got mistcraft and end portals along with the mistcraft table. Up here, we've got just basic item storage and crystal chests with signs. A couple of ender chests to pull things out as needed, um, and storage for spare UU matter. There's a bug right now with the crystal chests that causes this weird stacking effect, but enough UU matter to produce pretty much everything that I need that doesn't have to come out of Zycraft or something. Um, sand generator is no longer working in 1.4.6, a smooth stone generator that still does work, not that it's needed, water source, the main machine room, this just has lots and lots of machines. Now these are all tier 1 machines because once you get past 9 of the um, overclocker upgrades, uh, you end up actually being slower with the singularity compressor and rotary macerator and such, so it's better to take the uh, tier 1 machines and just use plenty of upgrades uh, when you have large scale production. These are recyclers feeding into rather quick mass fabrication. Uh, these are receiving around 7,000 EU per tick, I believe. 6,000. Um, sort of depends on the length of the measurement sometimes. Um, and up here, if I can manage to make my way out, here we go. You can see on top the power generation system is quite a lot of solar power. Each of these produces 7600 EU per tick at night, and quite a lot more than that in the daytime, so each of these is about, oh, four nuclear reactors worth of ultimate hybrid solar panels. Um, and then these are just your standard build craft solar, or red power solar panels, battery boxes, they lead inside to power the alloy furnaces. And as for making this many solar panels, the best way is an automated production setup like this one. Um, it's currently off because I have all of the panels that I need and just a few spare materials, but just lots and lots of auto crafting tables. The one thing that I do have that's not a default part of Feed the Beast is when I when Red Power came out, I got tube stuff and started using the tier the advanced auto crafting tables because those can interact directly with Red Power without and so you can have some nice features 
um, like controlling the rate that it builds something by changing the rate of um, your timers. So something that I need fewer of, like this one was making diamonds out of UU matter, I had a much slower tick rate than the iridium production at the end. And then over here we've just got extra world anchors so this entire um, 9x9 chunk area stays loaded wherever I am. I've got a computer that can pretty easily handle that. So that's my facility for the moment. Have a good day.